I fired a random crit. But how did I random crit? It starts here when you left click. As soon as you execute a primary attack, before a bullet is fired or a projectile is spawned, the game rolls to see if you get a random crit. The outcome of your random crit roll is decided by generating a random number from your random seed. If that random number it generates is smaller than your crit chance, then you get a crit. Otherwise, your crit roll has failed. Your crit chance is 2% multiplied with a damage bonus. The damage bonus is derived from how much damage you've recently inflicted upon another player. Every 0.5 seconds, the game adds together all the damage you've done within the last 2 to 20 seconds, up to 800 damage, and proportionally converts that number to a scale of 1 to 4. If you did 0 damage, your damage bonus is 1. 320 damage, bonus 2.2. 800 damage, bonus 4. So, with 0 damage done, your chance to crit is 2% multiplied by 1, giving you a 2% crit chance. 320 damage, 2% multiplied by 2.2, 4.4% crit chance. 800 damage, 2% by 4, 8% crit chance. Melee weapons work exactly the same way, except their base crit chance is 15%. So, if you've dealt 800 damage recently, it would be 15% by 4, 60% crit chance. The damage bonus accepts any damage as long as it's done by you. It doesn't care about which weapons were used to deal what damage. So, you could deal 800 damage with a primary and secondary weapon then switch to your melee weapon for a higher crit chance. Damage modifiers are ignored in adding up your damage. This means that any form of crits and mini crits are not factored into the calculation. If you hit someone with a damage boosted shot, whether it be a random crit, crit streak, or buff banner, the damage you would have done without the buff is used instead. This includes sniper headshots, which count as 50 damage for headshots with no charge, and 150 for fully charged headshots. Similarly, if your target has a damage resistance, the damage you would have done if they didn't have a resistance is what counts. This is the case for weapons such as the Vaccinator, the Fists of Steel, and the Targe. But for some reason, the battalion's backup is an exception. Instead, the damage that's counted is after the damage reduction. Explosives don't count every person you've hit. The game only accepts one instance of damage, whichever the highest one is. So if I shoot a rocket and it deals a bunch of splash damage, the game looks for the biggest number and only counts that one. Afterburn and bleed damage works as you would expect. When you use the half Satoichi and land a hit on someone else who is also using the katana, the one-hit kill is accomplished by dealing damage triple the target's current health. The damage done here is deliberately ignored and counted as zero. The spy's backstab registers as the target's max health. If you raise or lower your max health, so does the backstab's logged damage. Stabbing a Razorback will give you nothing. Taunt kills are counted like backstabs.
Damage from Halloween spells get counted, including damage done on your behalf, such as summoning Monoculus. Sentry guns count towards the damage bonus, but not mediguns. Damage to buildings is also ignored, including the sapper. Automatic weapons that fire continuously go through the same process. Damage done still adds up to create a damage bonus to multiply with the 2% crit chance. The difference is that instead of rolling for a crit each time you fire your gun, automatic weapons roll for a crit every second you are actively firing. And the random seed used to roll for crits is taken from your command number. Every second your computer sends 66 messages to the server updating the server on what buttons you're pressing, where you're looking, and other information. Each of these messages is numbered, so the server knows what order the messages are meant to be read, and if they missed any messages. That is the command number. The server uses your command number to feed into a random number generator, and if the random number that comes out is a smaller number than your crit chance, you've successfully rolled for a crit. But that's only the first step. Now your crits need to be audited. There are two checks that your crit must pass in order to be shot out of your gun. Check number one, the crit bucket. The crit bucket is basically a wallet. Every time you fire, you store damage in your crit bucket. When it's time to fire a random crit, the game checks to see if you have enough damage to afford that crit. If you don't, your successful random crit roll gets stopped here, and your crit gets denied. If you do, then it continues to the next check. But damage in this context is not about hitting people. It's about base damage. The base damage of a weapon is what's multiplied by 3 to get how much damage a critical hit should do and how much damage you do per shot against buildings. As soon as you fire, no matter what happens, even if you miss, the base damage gets added to the bucket. For automatic weapons, it adds the base damage of each bullet per fire rate. The cost of a crit that you have to pay to fire it is the baseline cost multiplied by your crit to normal shot ratio. The baseline cost is the weapon's base damage times 3. So for a crit rocket, it would be 90 times 3. Your crit to normal shot ratio is the amount of times you've successfully rolled for a crit, divided by the total amount of shots you've ever fired with that gun, whether it hits or misses. This ratio is then scaled into a number between 1 and 3. For the most part, your crit ratio will basically always be at 1. 
The only way for the ratio to move past 1 is to constantly random crit, which is only possible with some sort of cheating. And melee weapons have an exception for their crit costs. The cost of a melee crit is fixed at the crit damage, multiplied by 0.5. So for the typical melee weapon that crits for 195, the cost to melee crit would be half to 97.5. The bucket has a cap of 1000, a bottom of negative 250, and a default starting point of 300. Each weapon has a bucket of their own and only contributes to their bucket. You only get the starting 300 the first time you receive your weapon. So when you first switch to a class or change your loadout. Dying or winning a round doesn't reset your bucket. There is a crit to normal shot ratio for each weapon you have. And it doesn't reset between deaths. It follows the weapon. So you need to switch to another class, or change loadouts to reset it. Weapons also reset when you put them away. Since the crit bucket only works with base damage, this ignores basically everything. Damage buffs or nerfs and bleeding aren't considered. The act of casting a spell adds 5. Right clicking with the Sandman counts as a normal swing. The bazooka is treated as if you just fired 3 rockets individually. So it adds 90 to the bucket for each rocket that comes out. Each rocket rolls for a crit, and each rocket adds 1 to the total shots fired counter for the crit to normal shot ratio. For some reason, the Pyro's Flamethrower has a base damage of 170. With how fast flames are fired, you have a full bucket in one tap of the mouse. Swinging with either fists count. The heater's fire is ignored. After you pass the bucket check, there is a final check which compares how much damage you've done normally, and how much with random crits. It compares this ratio of normal to random crit damage against your crit chance that we calculated earlier with the damage bonus. If the proportion of damage you've done with crits compared to normal damage is too high, the game denies the crit from happening. You won't be able to crit until your ratio of normal to random crit damage is within your crit chance. Same as before, you will only fail this check if you were cheating to constantly crit. This check only happens for ranged weapons, so melee weapons don't do this. Normal damage is defined as any damage to a player that's not a melee swing. So the Wrath Assassin's right click counts, the bleed damage counts, but not the melee hit. Obviously, building damage doesn't count since it's not a player. Damage buffs are accepted, so headshots and mini crits report their full damage. If your damage got reduced, the game counts the resulting damage after the reduction. Damage done on your behalf counts, including spells like Monoculus and Sentry Guns. Telefrags count as 1000 damage. Taunts 500. And for some reason, damage done with random crits is simply defined as critical damage that's not from the Critskrieg. 
So sniper headshots and mini crits actually count as random crit damage in the calculations. This ratio of normal to random crit damage works on a per round basis. So the game keeps track of your ratio across weapons and classes, only resetting when the round ends and the game resets. So that's how you get a random crit. First you roll for a crit, then you have to pass the crit bucket check, and last the damage type ratio check. If everything goes well, you can finally fire your crit, and miss. This helps create those rare high moments. Wow, this is great. 